very good evening. Thank you for joining us. You're watching news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safiya Palace the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, and Captain of Bahrain Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser introduced to His Majesty the King members of the Bahrain Royal Endurance Team on the occasion of winning the World Endurance Championship for young riders and juniors in Chile. His Majesty the King hailed this huge achievement which came as a result of the team's dedication and high spirit. His Majesty noted that this achievement affirms the successful strategies set by the team through developing the skills of youth in order to honor the kingdom in different international arenas. His Majesty lauded the remarkable efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad in the development of the endurance racing field as well as for his successful plans and strategies that aim to evolve all fields of sports in the kingdom. His Majesty also hailed the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his constant support to the Bahraini sport on all levels. His Majesty the King also received the Bahraini swimmer Al Zayna Tariq Jama'a on the occasion of her participation in the 2015 World Aquatics Championship in Kazan, Russia. His Majesty noted the outstanding performance of a swimmer and praised her efforts for honoring the kingdom in this international championship and wished her further progress. The father of the swimmer expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his constant support to the swimming field in the kingdom. He also expressed his thanks and appreciation to their highnesses Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad and Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad for their support during the competition.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safiya Palace, Minister of Bahraini Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain's win in Expo Milano 2015 and earning the silver medal for second best in the field of architectural engineering. His Majesty highlighted Bahrain's achievements and the role it's played in promoting global interest and the success accomplished in various fields. He congratulated Sheikh Hamay and lauded her role in earning this achievement and her continuous efforts in maintaining the history and tradition of Bahrain, which affirms Bahrain's ability to be a global competitor. He also congratulated her on choosing Muharraq as capital of Islamic culture in 2018. His Majesty the King stressed the importance of participating in such events in order to strengthen cooperation between various countries and achieve further progress in the fields of economic, cultural and tourism in Bahrain. His Majesty underlined Bahrain outstanding status including possession of an ancient civilization and cultural communication affirming that Bahrain is a place of peace and coexistence. Sheikh Hamay expressed appreciation to His Majesty the King for his continuous support and directives lauding Bahrain's progress in various fields especially the cultural field. She also highlighted that Bahrain's pavilion at Expo Milano attracted more than 2,200,000 visitors who expressed a deep admiration of the pavilion. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qutaybiyah Palace today a number of senior officials, journalists, businessmen, academics and scores of citizens. Also present were Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik al Sheikh and UAE Ambassador to Bahrain Abdul Rada Abdullah Khouri. The Prime Minister confirmed that the Bahraini journalism has been able to meet the, de the demands of the people and reflect the voice of citizens in addition to supporting the government's approach to achieve the aspirations of people. He commended Bahraini elite journalists, stressing that regardless of differences in views, everyone agrees on the best interest of the kingdom. He praised the role of the Bahraini youth and their enthusiasm to contribute in the development of their country, encouraging them to preserve and document Bahrain's history, calling on journalists to archive their work for next generations. The Prime Minister reviewed with the audience national issues and regional events and confirmed the necessity of collective national efforts to protect the safety and stability of the kingdom. He highlighted the government's priority is preserving security and stability as it is the foundation for progress and development. He expressed sorrow in some people who take advantage of Bahrain's openness and democracy to harm national gains. In regards to his recent visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pleasure in meeting with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He highlighted the excellent deep rooted relations binding the two kingdoms, considering the visit a renewal of an already solid relation. He commended the honorable stances of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, wishing King Salman success in protecting the nation and fighting whoever aimed to harm its stability. His Royal Highness also highlighted the existing cooperation among GCC countries, confirming the importance of upgrading cooperation to union.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qadabiya Palace today the President of the National Audit Office, the NAO, Hassan Al Jalahma, who presented to His Royal Highness a copy of the office's annual report for 2014 to 2015. The Prime Minister highlighted the excellent professional and monitoring role of NAO and what it has achieved by performing its audit role and assisting the government to preserve financial resources through identifying violations and waste of public funds. His Royal Highness said the government has adopted numerous procedures that guarantee spending monitoring, stressing that public funds belong to the state and is the right of the people. He said legal and constitutional tools are used against all violations that jeopardize the use of public funds. The Prime Minister highlighted the significant role of NAO in supporting the government's efforts to protect public funds and rationalize spending, pointing out the effective practices of it in in the monitoring field based on laws and regulations that organize its work. For his part, Mr. Al Jalahma thanked the Prime Minister for his support to the office and his follow up of implementing the recommendations mentioned in the annual report. He said that the commitment of the government bodies to implement the office's recommendations will help them improve their performance and manage their business in an institutional way based on the laws and regulations. He confirmed the positive improvements in many bodies, which reflects the success success of the office in the monitoring and auditing duty. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qadabiya Palace today the newly appointed U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, William Roebuck. His Royal Highness highlighted the deep-rooted Bahraini-American relations and joint cooperation that support both countries' interests to expand bilateral ties. His Royal Highness confirmed Bahrain's steady steps towards further prosperity in the economic and developmental field in parallel with preserving security and stability. He confirmed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen strategic relations with countries that share its approach towards stability and development, which include the U.S. The Prime Minister reviewed the American official ways of enhancing joint cooperation in all fields in addition to mutual efforts in combating terrorism. The meeting also discussed regional and international developments. In this regard, His Royal Highness confirmed the region's security is a shared responsibility, stressing that destabilizing the region does not serve international interest, nor does it support the international community towards development. For his part, the American ambassador thanked the Prime Minister for his keenness to improve fields of joint cooperation, stressing his country's keenness to consolidate bilateral relations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today with the newly appointed German Ambassador to Bahrain, Alfred Sims Prodz. His Royal Highness confirmed the growing support to Bahraini German relations due to both countries' leadership's keenness to further consolidate them in many strategic aspects. The Crown Prince highlighted the necessity of developing communication to achieve more gains that meet shared aspirations. He commended the German participation in the 11th IIS as Malama Dialogue and discussed with the ambassador the regional and international updates. For his part, Mr. Alfred pointed out his country's keenness to further consolidate bilateral cooperation, thanking His Royal Highness for the support he is receiving to enhance joint cooperation and coordination. Minister of Energy Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza inaugurated today the GPA GCC Chapter 23rd Annual Technical Conference in the attendance of a number of GCC petroleum companies, researchers and engineers. The minister highlighted the main theme of the conference regarding the decline of oil prices and the necessity to invest in sustainable technology in order to overcome all obstacles. He also stressed the importance of developing operations in oil companies as well as developing the skills of manpower in order to continue the process of gaining profits in the Middle East region.
The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, led the Bahraini delegation to the World Travel Market, the WTM, which was held in London. Bahrain's Authority for Tourism and Exhibitions is promoting the latest developments in tourism and hospitality sector and the latest programs, projects and activities of the kingdom. Bahrain's pavilion was redesigned to match the kingdom's tourism components and allow tourist companies to participate, where Bahraini participants this year are 15 from travel agencies, hotels and others. World Travel Market will give the opportunity for participants to meet tourist institutions to discuss and find business deals. The World Travel Market is a leading global event for the travel industry and is a vibrant must-attend business-to-business event presenting a diverse range of destinations and industry sectors to UK and international travel professionals. It provides a unique opportunity for the whole global travel trade to meet, network negotiate and conduct business. Minister of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, held a press conference on the occasion of being granted the silver medal for second best pavilion at the Milan Expo in Italy. The international jury awarded the gold and bronze medals to France and China, respectively. With 10 distinctive fruit gardens containing trees that will bear fruits at different periods throughout the six month duration of the exhibition, the pavilion also featured archaeological artifacts that celebrate the millennia-long tradition of agriculture and perpetuate the many myths of Bahrain as the location of the Garden of Aden and the land of a million palm trees. The silver medal granted to Bahrain's pavilion proves the authority's commitment to Expo's theme. Considering the fact that Bahraini Pavilion was the, the first in, in becoming ready, that drew the attention of the Italian media a lot. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and basically everybody in Italy and, and beyond the boundaries of Italy uh, could, could be made aware of the, of the existence and the beauty of the Bahraini Pavilion exactly because uh, it, was, it was ready so early compared to all the others. Then, as you have seen by the, by the press report uh, that, that Noor has made, the, the Italian attention has, uh, has always been there and the enthusiasm for the Bareni Pavilion has kept on growing. The recurrent expenses and reduced costs IT team held a workshop today at the e-government authority in Muharraq in the attendance of the e-government authority CEO Mohammed Ali Al-Qaid and the executive partner Gartner company Eric Smith. Al-Qaid said that the aim of the workshop is to gain international experience in the field of reducing costs in order to set strategies aiming at supporting sustainable development services in the kingdom. The workshop also discussed the government's investment in the IT field as well as developing the services offered to citizens, businessmen and companies. And now here's Bara with the latest business news. Thank you, Sarah. Good evening, welcome to Business News on Bahrain TV. As part of its ongoing efforts to consult and engage with the public and to collect feedback from its various stakeholders, Tim Keen held a forum today with various stakeholders from different sectors to collect feedback and recommendations around Tim Keen's programs and 2016 priorities. The forum included around 600 participants from all economic sectors and brought together professionals of different backgrounds, including business owners, uh, entrepreneurs, executives, job seekers, students, and other stakeholders. As part of the consultation, Tem Kim presented their participants with the overview of 2015 achievements with its 2015-2017 strategy of enhancing quality, achieving more impactful results, and putting additional focus on customers. Temkin also shared upcoming initiatives for 2016, which was followed by exclusive sessions with representatives from 15 different sectors to collect feedback around these initiatives. 
The Bahrain Oil Share Index closed today at 1,259.98 points, a decrease of 0.71 points below yesterday's closing. The fall was in the commercial banking and the services sectors. However, investors traded mainly in the commercial banking sector, representing 90% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that four equity transactions uh, took place with a volume of 1,207,920 shares, worth the value of 88,052 Bahraini dinars.